Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to see how to debug your Ionic 2 application using uh, the Chrome browser, using the debugger in the Chrome browser. So uh, before I found this technique, let me be honest with you. I was just using the traditional pen and paper method, which was like a big headache. Uh, and I presume a lot of people, you know, were struggling with debugging as well. So uh, uh, last week, I guess it's like November 9, right? Uh, yeah, last week, uh, Ionic 2 put up this post in their blog saying that uh, we have better error reporting features for uh, Ionic apps and everything. So uh, yeah, it was a welcome move and uh, I felt like, you know, really happy to see this. But the thing is, we already got all these compilation time errors uh, and, and uh, all those errors during compilation. Uh, on the console itself now they are just they have just improved it in such a way that it gets shown up on the browser as well and it points to the exact line where uh, the error occurred so i thought maybe uh, we need to like have an actual debugger we can use an actual debugger to debug a running ionic 2 application that's what we are going to see uh, in this video so let's get started i have just created a new application a blank application and then I opened it using VS Code editor here so uh, if you just notice there is nothing here right it's the same uh, uh, app which you get when you first you know uh, scaffold out an application using the ionically as for the versions of the ionically I'm using the latest one the 2.1.8 I guess and uh, 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 Node.js I'm using 6.5.0 this technique was like taught to me by a guy called Jay Glazer uh, actually we became friends uh, Jay Glazer oh my god I just realized that I don't know his first name I don't know what the J stands for anyway my, uh, uh, I, I need to thank that guy I mean I need to thank him a lot because he was the one who first pointed me in this direction and then told me that you could debug your Ionic applications using this way so anyway thanks a lot so uh first of all let's just you know run this application we get an air app right it's just a normal app uh, which we get right so in case you didn't know how to bring this mobile like screen thing just click on this this is a device toggle if you just didn't uh, switch it off it will just look like a web page but if you just switch it on and then you choose whatever device you want here it will uh, uh, re resize itself to that particular device so that you know uh, it looks more like you're working in uh, in the mobile application it allows you to uh, have a preview of how the app would actually how the alignment of the elements in the app would actually look on your mobile device so uh, yeah as i was saying before this is just our normal application right there's nothing fancy in this so uh, how to like if you go to sources you couldn't see the code right here i mean you couldn't see the code right uh, uh, so to use this debugger we need to get the code here and then uh, you do the usual debugging like set breakpoints or uh, conditional breakpoints or whatever so in order to do that it's pretty much simple you get, get into package.json and then here just add another stuff called uh, uh, source i mean not source config config uh, sorry not And then inside this, uh, I'll be having Ionic, Ionic source map, and uh, this will have the value source map. Okay. Here I'll just give a comma. Okay. I have just now uh, added a single variable called config in my package.json. So now let us just you know rerun this. Now, if you notice, uh, there is a separate folder called home Rajog and debugging, right? If you get into that, you will find our code uh, as it is available in our IDE. So for example, I'll get into page and then I have home.ts and then I can easily debug my app from, uh, uh, you know, I wait guys, I'll just, you know, show it to you in a better way so that you can understand. If Suppose if this configuration is not there, okay. 
suppose that configuration is not there then you can obviously see that uh, that debugging files are not present in the uh, debugger right here in the sources so uh, in order to enable uh, in order for us to use an external debugger on our ionic 2 application while we run it at run time we are just you know adding this uh, source map variable to our package.json this whole uh, this will take like uh, two values i guess one is the source map and the other one is the uh, eval so eval will be the default value i think i am not sure but it might be the default value because uh, if the default value was obviously source map then uh, even when we omitted this we would get uh, the files right anyway let's not go there uh, so i just saved it right yeah i just saved it and restart this again you can see that we get our files for debugging on our uh, id i not id it's a browser right anyway we get our files uh, for debugging right so let me just show you like a very very simple example uh, this was again shown to me by jay glazer oh, i need to like uh, give him a lot of shout outs because uh, he was the one who helped me out in this aspect and i am very grateful for that so let's just go to home.html and maybe we'll have a button uh, button ion button click increment okay we'll call a function that's all and add one okay and then we'll have another uh, h1 tag which will just show a value current value okay a very simple piece of code and then we are inside this we are just writing you know, first we'll have the variable We'll make use of this in our function increment this dot current value uh, is equal to one. Okay, very simple, very very simple piece of code. We are just having a button which, when clicked, will just increment the value of a counter, and we are displaying that value on our application. Let's just you know first we'll save this, and then this has automatically picked it up because it was watching. So let's just. Go ahead and see. Yeah, it has done the build process, right? So if I just click on add one now, it's adding, right? So suppose if I want to debug this, let's get into source pages home and home.ts. This is our home.ts file, right? This is our home.ts file, right? How do I zoom this part along? I don't know how to de zoom this part alone, guys. But anyway, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> really, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. Maybe Control Plus will zoom. It. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, where was I? What was? Uh, yeah, with debugging. So suppose if I want to set a breakpoint here, just click Add Breakpoint, and then you know. We can do it right it's paused in debugger and then uh, it had a breakpoint before incrementing the value if i just click resume script execution it's adding one right suppose uh, i'll remove this and then add a conditional breakpoint and uh, one equal to equal to one and add it which means that whenever that value is true it will break there and then stop there so we have the usual things like uh, stepping over a function call or getting into that function call or uh, getting out of that function uh, stuff like that um, with the, all these we find in regular debuggers right in every id there is a debugger and all this uh, pre execution manipulation uh, uh, options are available there I, I mean options to available the control flow while the program is executing is there so uh, nothing new about this you would have probably used this while developing web applications using angular 2 as well anyway that's the point of this whole video guys this is a wonderful uh, technique through which you can save a lot of time and uh, or headache using uh, i mean while uh, developing uh, or writing a angular uh, ionic 2 application so once again i would like to thank jay glazer for showing me how to do this and he also even i mean I, uh, yeah he requested me 
to make a video and then share it with others so that you know uh, it would be a lot helpful to all of us who are working with Ionic 2 so uh, it's a it's a very good uh, thing that i wanted to thank him for if you have any other uh, stuff like this i mean like uh, you found a quick way to do something in Ionic 2 or you uh, you were stuck with an error and then you figured out a way uh, and then everyone was stuck with the same error and you figured out a way to fix that uh, kindly let me know guys uh, or even if you posted it on stack overflow just pass me on the link and then i'll uh, try to make a video out of it and share it with our community so that you know uh, i make a lot of ionic 2 videos and there are a lot of guys subscribed to this channel to watch these videos so it would be helpful to all those guys so yeah guys that was the whole point of this video showing you how to debug a typescript file in an ionic 2 application during program execution i uh, hope this video helped you guys if this video helped you uh share it with someone else and help them too if you like this video kindly hit on the like button and uh, also subscribe to my channel to watch more cool videos like this i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye